Hi everyone, this is Dunham from UK Warfare and I'm going to show new users to Project Reality how to install and set up their PR Mumble 0.5 beta and obviously I'll show you how to download it. First of all, copy and paste the link underneath this video in the description and paste it into your browser. You want to click on regular download and underneath these two adverts you've got the download link. You want to save that file. I'm going to stop that because I've already downloaded it. Once you've downloaded that file, you need to run it. You can agree to the agreement. You only want to install Mumble Client, keep it to its standard destination folder, and install. Untick Start Mumble because we don't want to start that just yet. Especially if you've got Windows Vista or Windows 7, you need to follow the next little tutorial. Um, keep your desktop shortcut just for ease of use. Now if you've got Windows Vista or Windows 7, before you start Mumble, you need to right click down here on the bottom right of your screen, on your speaker icon. Right click that and go to Recording Devices. Once that pops up, we've got a tab here called Communications. You need to go in there and make sure Do Nothing is selected. You'll probably realise that Reduce the Volume of Other Sounds by 80% is already selected. You want that to be Do Nothing, as I said. OK to that. Also, if you've got Windows Vista or Windows 7, you need to right-click your shortcut and go to Properties. Go across to Compatibility and go down to the bottom to Privilege Level and change that to Run This Program as an Administrator. Once that's finished, you can open Mumble. You'll get a window like this. If this is all new to you, first of all, go to Configure and run your Audio Setup Wizard. And then it's a simple case of going to Server, Connect, and then make sure the Custom Servers tab here is selected you'll realize that uh, the official PR Mumble server is already preset on those information so you can just type in your you know you can just type in your player name it's always best to keep your player name exactly the same as your in-game name just so that the admins can check um, for non-Mumble users uh, if the server is compulsory with Mumble all you need to do is just add that and press connect you'll notice that it's put you into the AFK channel so obviously you need to just double click on whatever server channel that you're in for example if you're playing on UK Warfare it's just a case of double clicking UK Warfare when you're in that channel you need to make sure that you've got your shortcuts set up when I mean shortcuts these are the push to talk keys that you'll need to use while you're in game you need to do this by going to configure and then settings and then go across to the shortcuts tab you need to add one for local speech and squad leader radio some other people recommend to add one for global speech as well but I actually don't recommend that because a lot of people get confused between local radio and global radio and it ends up in a lot of spam on the channel um, I keep my local speech to backslash so I can just use it with my little finger whilst playing um, my squad leader radio I keep completely separate on the other side of the keyboard um, just so I don't get them confused um, once they're set up you should be ready to go um, you can then load up your project reality and it should uh, well it should work when you spawn in